Hey friend, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to achieve the perfect sensitivity in Apex Legends. So, I'm going to go over every single setting and just basically explain how to, what each of it means so that way you can determine the absolute best sensitivity for yourself in Apex. So, let's get right into it. And the, by the way, this only applies to controllers, obviously. So, first of all, you're going to want to go all the way down here and enable your advanced look controls. By doing this, it's going to completely override all of this and actually revert everything to its default state. That's kind of what you want, though. So, first of all, you go into your advanced look controls and then turn them on. You want to start with your dead zone. Your right stick and your... your left, my left stick's actually a bit tighter than my right stick, but that kind of makes sense. I'm a bit harder on this one. Uh, your right stick is never balanced perfectly in the middle, as demonstrated by this. A mouse is because you simply let go and it stops moving, and it's complete, it has such a wide surface area that it remains flat, whereas your, your analog sticks are balanced precariously on that little plus, as you can see. So, essentially what you want, you start off here, and this is not a great place to be, but because, as you can see, there's quite a bit of distance between like your actual threshold input and your uh, what your dead zone picks up so I can demonstrate I'm actually moving my stick it's off of the center right now and it's not picking up like I'm actively moving it and it's not picking it up to the degree I'd like so by coming here and turning on your dead zone it makes it super sensitive so that you can actually make more precise movements okay miss both the heads anyways this is better especially for range like you can perfectly mark like stuff like this you know aside from in-game sway it makes it a lot easier to hit things at range it's not gonna matter pretty much at all up close unless you're trying to hit like Unless you're off by like one pixel at somebody up close and they're standing still or something. But essentially it's going to be what aids you the most in your ranged engagements. So, I don't know why it doesn't default to this. So then you have your outer threshold. Honestly, just leave this at default. It's not going to make a difference whatsoever. Uh, your outer threshold. And then your response curve. Now, it took me a bit to figure out exactly what this is, but it did exactly what I expected it to. So when you turn this up, this shows uh, the difference between your, basically your ramp up. It, it, it makes more of a plane. So I'm going to make a really tiny movement here. And as you can see, it's like, it's barely going. But if I turn this down and I make the exact same movement, it's a lot more, well, how sensitive is this? Well, you can get it super fine-tuned. I never noticed that. Anyways, I just go down two clicks, and so I'm making, like, the same movement. As you can see, it's a lot faster. So, I mean, it's that's one, cent one thing that you can kind of, I don't know, you can leave that where it is or turn it up or down. I like it to be a little bit more twitchy because it's more responsive that way. Because with a low value, it's going to be really slow and really hard to track people who are moving at like full speed at a long range. You're not really going to be able to keep up. You're going to have to be constantly letting go of left trigger and like reacquiring, or like moving it forward and waiting them or waiting for them to walk into your line of sight. So I recommend keeping this pretty close to the default, but I just turn it down the slightest bit. But actually, you can actually move it up by tiny portions. I'm not sure why it's like that in this game, but for some reason it is. So I just go down two clicks. Yeah. And now as for your pitch and yaw speed, this is where it gets pretty interesting. I like to keep my pitch and yaw about the same in most games, but for some reason this game I'm not sure because and the reason why I don't have these balanced is because your aimed out sights speeds are actually a fraction of this so i'll explain that a little bit so 
<laughs> all that goes to say, I have my yaw speed up 15 clicks higher than uh, the default sensitivity. So yeah, that's what I find like comfortable. If you're just starting off, it's going to feel a bit high, but it shouldn't take that long to get used to it. And that's so that I can spin around fast enough and deal with people around me. This is the this is a pretty comfortable sensitivity, in my opinion. So we'll go back to pulling everything up. And as for my pitch speed, I'm debating like balancing this out. In fact, I think that you should definitely practice with it balanced out. But for now, it's not. And that's simply because of, uh, I suppose it's for recoil reasons. So I guess I should just turn my aim down sight sensitivity down. But it also helps with, you know, finding ranged targets if it's a little bit off-centered like this when I'm trying, when I'm like moving it around to aim down sights on somebody. So I'm going to keep it a little bit lower for now. But as I play, I'll probably balance this out in the end. I don't know what just happened here, but he just jumped off the edge. I wasn't controlling him. So we'll go back to our settings. Uh, as for your extra turning, y'all, I decided that I like the speed to be lower, but I like the time to be higher so that it's a little bit easier to control. So what this is, is uh, I'll show you real fast. So I'm turning and then all of a sudden I speed up. You can kind of, you can kind of tell like it, it jumps. So I'll max, actually, I'm not going to max it out because I don't have the number memorized. Um, but I like it to be sort of in the middle for my speed. But as for my ramp up time, what is this? One click beneath? Yeah. All right, I'll max this out so you can see how long it takes for it to speed up. It takes considerably longer for me to hit that extra time. And what that means, this is used to help you, as it says, it helps you spin all the way around and make like super long movements. Like if you're getting shot at from behind, it's not this long animation, it's considerably shorter. So that way you still have like your fine-tuned control for like making flick shots with the shotgun. Like, well, this is the perfect way to display it. But yeah, so that way you still have your like good flick shots, but it also uh, gives you enough time to spin all the way around and deal with people behind you. Where, where what am I playing with? Yeah, ramp up turning time. So I just go down one click for that. Uh, that way it's just a little bit shorter. And that way I kind of have that muscle memory down. Well, as you can see, it, it's a little bit thrown off. But that's I have about where that should be to make a, a 180. Because that's as far as you ever have to go. It's just to make a 180. And maybe a little now. Never really any more than that. Because you're always going to spin the quickest way around. So, yeah. It just needs to be high enough for you to whip all the way around. Uh or whip, not all the way around, halfway around. So yeah, and as for your uh, your time delay, I turned that up. Why did I turn this up? My delay, yeah, I'm going to keep that default. I'm not sure why I would. Yeah, I'm not sure why I'd turn that up one. Although, how long you have to wait? Yeah, I would probably keep this up just so that you have, in case somebody's shooting you at like a, I don't know, let's say this is zero. Someone's hitting you past 90 degrees, that way you can still take them out, but let's see. Nah, it's a little bit more comfortable the other way. So I'd keep this at a zero. As for your aim down sight speed, and for your pitch and yaw, this again is left, yeah, this is left and right, this is up and down. I'm probably going to turn mine down. All right, what do I have this at? Yeah, okay, since my pitch speed... You're, okay, this sensitivity is actually a fraction of your pitch and yaw speed. So if you turn your pitch and yaw speed all the way down, this is 15 clicks. I'll just demonstrate it real fast. If you turn this, like, all the way down, and you turn your ADS speed all the way up, check it out. Moving like the oh wow, it's actually not a fraction in this game, they're two separate entities. I didn't know that. It's like that in Siege. Um, so these are actually on s completely separate like timelines, which is pretty interesting, actually. But yeah, this is just your basic uh look down speed. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then this was. Here plus one, two. There's either two or three. 
I'm gonna leave it like this. It does feel a tiny bit higher, so I'm gonna bring it back down because again I don't have all these memories or these things memorized. Memorized. So by me having these two differently, hmm, I'm gonna balance it out just simply because I assumed it would be a fraction, but it's actually not. So we'll have this about here because that's should be that should be where it, where it was. Anyways, still figuring this out. I assumed this would be a fraction, but it's actually not. This is this maxes out differently, which I actually do not agree with that design. But anyways, this is your basic aim down sight speed. I would probably put it a little bit above default. That's just me though. As you can see, by me trying out all these different sensitivities, it still throws me a tiny bit, but yeah, it's good enough. Plus aim assist helps a lot, which is actually what this is. But uh, for now, I'm going to leave it on. This is your basic aim assist. So as for your extra turning, yeah, I keep this. I would recommend keeping these completely off because you are you shouldn't be aimed down sights at somebody right there. That way it's just consistent all the way through. If somebody is like sprinting past you and you're trying to track them, this is just so that it's completely, you know, consistent all the way across. And plus, hip firing up close is a much better idea. So yeah, I recommend turning those completely off. And then your ramp up time. Yeah, I max. Yeah, it's all the way maxed out. So, I mean, if you keep these off, your time delay isn't going to matter whatsoever. So I recommend turning these completely off. Yeah, that's actually my recommendation. I just keep it off so it's consistent all the way through, especially with your aim. So... That's my comprehensive guide. Uh, I learned that this is not a value of this, unlike Siege, which is, I believe, a better way to do it. But with everything else, it, it's not the end of the world. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you learned something just like I did. Uh, there will definitely be Apex character guides, I suppose. They're not called that. Legends guides coming in the near future. So stay tuned for that. Just like and subscribe. And I don't really have an outro.